Does she know? Hmm? Does she know what kind of a man you really are? That you'd kill a mother's infant son in front of her out of jealousy? Kill a man's wife out of spite? Look at me. Look at me! No! 30 years, Marion. 30 years. You killed my wife and newborn son 30 years ago. Now I kill yours. No! Please! You can take my life! Oh, we're gonna do that too, fuckhead. But only after I make you watch me beat her skinny little ass to death. No! They're going to watch her die. Just like you! No! And the Betty Ford clinic is open to pretty much anyone. No, I know you've been there, but it's not my day. I'm not judging. You it's just what? that you're not going to have a liver in That's the next three years. Mr. Bradley! Tiny boy! Oh! How many times I got to tell you, though, pal? It's just Bradley. Okay. Hey, Karen. Hey, Brad. Well, you know, gossip is the devil's radio, pal. Let me say we change the channel. Oh, no. No TV. <clears throat> Close, glove, catch. Send your best man to come down and fight. Defeat me, and all the Philistines will be your slaves. Didn't know they were with you, Thorn. How the fuck were we supposed to? And they were gone. They abandoned the vehicle. Come back with us, and tomorrow we'll help you look for them. If they keep their heads down overnight, they have a chance. We weren't even there. We heard it on the shortwave. They caught up to the truck, and it was empty. I swear. No, boss. This goes no further. Won't do it, boss. There's no way you could win. The department had high hopes for you, Zane. Such potential. But you seem to have forgotten what's at stake here. You're too young to remember what it was like in the days before we closed off the ether world. Citizens unable to distinguish between reality and fiction. Society falling into disarray. We are the only force standing between order and descent into chaos. Well, I say we. Uh -huh. Game over, amigo.